The approach of spring is always one of the most exciting moments for a fisherman. And we're coming close to spring. This week has been so nice and warm. I'm wearing my t-shirt. I've been outside. There's a lot of people are stirring, dropping off knives to be sharpened. Lots of reels that need service. Dropping off those rod repairs. Thank you so much. Remember, we still have our awesome custom rod giveaway. And that's what it is, is when you come to Cal Harbor and you spend like your money, it, it has to be 50 bucks to get that free raffle ticket. It has to be multiple of 50. So every time that you spend 50 or more in multiples of 50, spend 50, 100, 150, 200, which is real easy to do sometimes, um, you're getting raffle tickets back. Folks are dropping off their reels. They're getting raffle tickets. Putting custom rod deposits down. They're getting raffle tickets. Buying a new reel, raffle tickets. Gift cards, raffle tickets. It doesn't matter. Somebody's going to get a $500 custom rod built by me just for you the way you like it. Your own decals, your own colors, your own blank, your own layout. It doesn't matter whether you fish from the boat or the beach. A customer is a wonderful thing for us, and our family business wants to say thank you so much for tuning into our reports, for coming to our shop, and uh, letting us have a, a, a nice little life here. Thank you so much. Now, getting on to the fishing experience here in Long Island. This is absolutely a great week if you're into the sweet water fresh. You know, this has got to be one of the most underrated fisheries here in Long Island. We've got largemouth, smallmouth bass. You've got pickerel, uh, trout. There's so many wonderful things. And you know, this month is when the state has been uh, stocking the different trout ponds and lakes that we have here. So it's a great time to get out and really have a great time. You know, trout that get dropped in from these hatcheries, up you know, they are not wary. So there's many different ways. You can catch them with worms, dough balls, little spinner blades, flies. It's a whole lot of fun for the kids and the people that are not so experienced in catching trout. Um, if you are great trout fisherman, you think that you're intermediate, you want to like fine craft your tune, head down to the river, White's Pool, Blydenburg, practice that fly fishing technique. Remember with these warm water, it's gonna be a lot of insects and flying bugs are gonna to begin to emerge. Hatch fall off the uh, off leaves into the water and that really gets the fish on the bite. If you're into striped bass, Gotta tell you, I'm not seeing much over here locally, but to the west, there's some fish sightings going on. New Jersey, our customers of custom rods and uh, boga grips and such that we ship back to New Jersey for service work. Um, they're sending us pictures and the fish are uh, starting to stir. Again, this past week, remember it was a bit cold. I guess I don't have to remind you, but that turned the fishing off a little bit. Now with this total switch in the sun and the warmth, you should expect to see some action. Would you know that today there were porpoise swimming around in Huntington Harbor? Yeah, Huntington Harbor chasing uh, herring, most likely. And that's just wonderful. We see beautiful, clean waters. Hopefully, we'll start in the back areas. You'll see maybe an emergence of grass shrimp will be the first things that you'll see. Uh, there's also osprey around. They're indicating that you know bunker have to be showing up soon as well. So we're getting close. This is really an important time of the year for preparation. If you're a fisherman, if you've got your four by four permits, please, you got to make sure you have all that four by four uh, tools in your truck so you don't get a ticket. If you're a freshwater fisherman, go get that $25 freshwater fisherman uh, license. Um, no, the 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 saltwater registry. It's really important. It's free, but you don't want to get yourself a ticket. Go get it. If you're a boater, make sure you had that boater certificate, the safety course, so that you don't get a ticket. There's so many things to do. And remember, preparation is also an important thing. Go out, get your passes before you can't do it anymore. There's so much to do. I hope to see you at the shop soon, dropping off your stuff before it's too late. We always get a lot of equipment here, but we work late to make sure that we bring it back to you in a timely fashion. And I just want to say it's wonderful to see everybody. And I hope to see you at the shop soon. Until next week, I bid you peace and tight lines.